Your name and the affiliation for a camera. My name is Penelope Rousseau, and I am Auntie's, I mean, Marie Rousseau's niece. My name is Millie Cook. I'm Mrs. Rousseau's part-time gardener. My name is William Rousseau, and I'm the adopted nephew of Marie Rousseau. My name is Irona Ashley, and I am Marie Rousseau's full-time maid. On October 13th, at 4.07 p.m., we received a report that the prized ruby was stolen from the Rousseau Manor. It has also come to our attention that you were present in the building when this robbery commenced. Now, we don't have much time to uncover who the culprit of this crime is, for we have received word that they will be soon leaving the country. Now, I shall ask you a series of questions. Respond with the truth, and only the truth. Keep your answers concise, and limit them to only the information vital to this case. Understood? Now, Miss Irona, what were you doing on October 13th at 4.07 p.m.? Well, I was cleaning the glass case of the ruby in the trophy room when I heard a crash coming from outside. I went out to see what was happening. I went outside to find a flower pot that had been knocked over, which is what I thought I had heard. I didn't think much of it and took some time to clean it up. After that, I returned to the trophy room to resume my cleaning. However, when I got back, the case for the ruby was shattered, and the ruby was missing. <coughs> the only thing they left behind was a large white glove. Don't worry about the glove. We only need important information. Did you hear anything? A voice, perhaps? Not as far as I can recall. All right. <sighs> Seems like you're going to be here for a while, Miss Irona. Now it has come to my attention that you and your aunt have never had the best of relationships. I don't know what you mean. Auntie loves me. Why else would she leave me her ruby? I can't believe someone stole it from me. I mean her. It's terrible. Okay. We'll make sure to take that into account. Now, what were you doing at 4.07 p.m. on October 13th? Well, let's see. I was sitting in the parlor reading my book. Well, it wasn't a real book. It was my Vogue magazine tucked inside the pages of the book so no one would know I was reading it. Oh, I was flipping through the pages. Those outfits, they were simply divine. And then I heard a smash from outside. I was terrified, so naturally I just ran to my room to hide. What else would I do? And then I heard the maid, Irona, screaming from the trophy room. When I went downstairs, a terrible sight befell me. My bright ruby was stolen! Did you see anything else? Um, oh. Yes, I did. There was a glove, a black glove, oh, with nice, cute fur trimming. It might have belonged to the gardener, but <laughs> she couldn't afford something like that. I guess it must have been Irona the maid's then, but her taste isn't that good either. So it must have been my brother. Are you sure you saw that? You weren't exactly in your right mind. Of course I'm sure. Are you doubting me? Because if you're going to accuse anyone, it could have been you. Sit down, Miss Rousseau. So, Mr. Rousseau, your phone, please? Oh, yes, of course. My apologies. So, what were you doing at 4.07 p.m. on October 13th? I was in my room the whole evening. Did you see or hear anything, by chance? I wasn't really paying attention at that time and I didn't know something was going to happen but at some point I heard some footsteps at the first floor and then I heard a woman screaming. Did you do anything after hearing the scream? Why would I care? It's probably my sister just being over dramatic like always. <laughs> when did you realize that something had been stolen? Not until the police came. I couldn't care less about that stupid red diamond or whatever it is. But my sister's obsessed with it. She goes about talking about her inheritance. 
She and Anne Marie had a little falling out before she left for France. Maybe she did it. Maybe she didn't. Maybe she was too scared that aunt, her precious auntie would kick her out of the will. What were you doing on October 13th at 4:07 p.m., Miss Cook? I was packing up my supplies. I'd been working in the garden all day. I don't know exactly what time it was, but I think I left around then. Why exactly did you leave? Because I was done, and my kids were staying with my mother, and she was probably getting tired of watching them. The other people we spoke to made mention of the sound of something being broken. Would you happen to know anything about this? Listen, please don't tell anyone about this. I really don't want to get in trouble. I broke Mr. So's favorite face. I left right away so no one would know. Please, I need this job. Where did you go after you left? Believe me, I just went home. Police report from Detective Inspector Nielsen. Case of missing Ruby from the Rousseau Manor. Penelope Rousseau and Millie Cook have been taken in for further questioning as a result of suspicion of theft. All other suspects have been cleared of suspicion.